This is an aerial view of the hand. I'll show how we would position it this way. Sorry that, that it's up. turning, guys. It may make you a little dizzy. Okay, so because palm up is it's the way the you want to. way that you stand. Yeah. So looking at it that way, you have three major sections of the hands. The first section is the carpal. These are all carpal bones. Mm -hmm. There are eight of them. One, two, three, four. And then on the bottom row, one, two, three, four. And a mnemonic that you can use to remember it is, what is it? Some people try positions that they Some can't. Lovers. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Some lovers try positions that they can't handle. So some lovers try positions that they can't handle. The scaphoid, lunate, yeah, triquetrum. Um, what's this one? Pisiform. Pisiform. The this one is the trapezium, the trapezoid. Was it the capitate, capitate and the hamate? Okay. And then next are your metacarpals, which are these big bones here, and they're numbered one through five, starting at the thumb. And then the phalanges are the rest of these. The thumb only has a proximal and a distal. The rest have proximal, middle, and distal. Okay. There we go. Let me get a closer look, too, so you can study yourself of the carpal bones. And here's a side view, so you see that the pisiform is actually like a little nubbin on top of a the... <laughs> it's a nubbin on top of the um, triquetrum. Like you try to pee. Like you try to pee. There you go.